It's a bird. It's a plane. Nope. It's something even more common than birds and planes combined. It is yet another. Microsoft Office zero day vulnerability being exploited in the wild that can lead to arbitrary remote code execution on systems that are vulnerable to it, which by the way, is pretty much all of them, including Windows 11 with the latest version of Office. Now, this was first discovered by an independent cybersecurity research team by the name of Naosec, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, on Friday, May 27th, and it has been given the name Felina. Now, this particular exploit utilizes Microsoft Word's remote template feature, which is a feature that lets you use templates for creating Word documents. But these templates, they don't have to be hosted on your local machine. They could be somewhere else on the internet. And typically that's what you might see when many people are working remotely and collaborating on different kinds of documents. And whenever a Word document with a remotely hosted template is being written to or read from, that template is going to be downloaded from that remote machine. Now it's also possible to embed HTML files as templates that are automatically retrieved when a Word document is opened. Okay, so loading templates and web pages from strangers in Microsoft Word sounds kind of spooky, right? But that's expected functionality. So what could possibly go wrong? Well. It turns out that if the web page referenced in your Microsoft Word document is also using JavaScript, then that page can be redirected from using HTTPS or HTTP to a completely different protocol like MS, MSDT. This is what the exploit code looks like when it's not obfuscated, by the way, if you want to take a look at how it works. So at this point, you're probably wondering, how did things go from loading a somewhat sus web page with Word to executing extremely sus PowerShell code remotely with the same privileges as the currently logged in user? And by the way, if you ran Word as an administrator, just, just kiss your operating system goodbye. You're gonna have to nuke it because that means whoever did this to you is running on your system with admin privileges. Well, besides the pants on head retarded feature of Microsoft Word processing JavaScript code, the problem lies in MSDT. And more importantly, the fact that Microsoft Word can invoke MSDT to execute arbitrary code even when macros are disabled in Microsoft Office. That's right. The previous advice about just not enabling macros on suspicious Word documents to avoid getting hacked is no longer sufficient to keep yourself safe. In fact, there is a certain way to use this exploit, which we'll look at very soon, that results in the remote code execution occurring from a malicious document without you ever actually opening the document. So zero click exploit is what this is. Now let's take a look at MSDT, which stands for Microsoft Diagnostics Troubleshooting Wizard. Normally, this is used by Microsoft support professionals, and I mean the actual Microsoft support professionals, not the dudes that scam you for Google Play cards, to diagnose and resolve problems via the command line. And in order to resolve these problems, those support professionals may need to run some commands or code from their remote location on your system. So executing remote commands is kind of the whole point of MSDT. Now, obviously, a remote administration tool for your operating system is something that hackers would love to use against you. In fact, sometimes remote administration tools are called RATs or remote access Trojans because that's basically what they are if they're being used maliciously. But normally to run this MSDT remote administration tool, the end user, the person that is seeking help has to enter a password on their machine. You've probably dealt with something similar to this when using TeamViewer, which is kind of the same idea, except not quite as powerful as MSDT, at least not on a Windows machine. But if we take a look at the proof of concept for this malware, which is the HTML and the JavaScript that is being loaded from a web page whenever Word is loading it, you're gonna notice 
that there's a bunch of A's that are commented out towards the beginning of the file. Now, this isn't just a transcription of users' reactions when they fall victim to this exploit. It is 4,096 bytes exactly of complete nonsense, which just so happens to cause a buffer overflow of MSDT's authentication system, which allows you to bypass it completely, meaning you don't need to enter any password to use MSDT on that end user system if you did this buffer correctly. And then anything that's written after that buffer is going to be executed by MSDT. There's also some other parameters that the attacker has to include for this to be really effective in their MSDT payload so as to not alert the victim. For example, if they forget to include the IT underscore select program parameter, then the victim is going to see a pop-up like this after they open the malicious word dog, which might alert them that something is wrong. Oh no, something's wrong with my system. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and close out a word and close out of all of this stuff. And then maybe that's going to cause the payload to not detonate. And like I said earlier, disabling macros doesn't do anything to protect you against this since macros are not being used to exploit you in this case. It's going to be pretty tricky to update Windows Defender or any other kind of anti-malware tool to be able to really accurately detect this because nothing malicious is actually being put into the Word document. You don't have to create a very obviously malicious Word document with crazy macros inside of it. All that you need is a link to a web page and links to web pages Believe it or not, they're pretty difficult to flag as malicious because the bad guys, they can just get a new domain whenever they want. I mean, sure, the link now that was being used to exploit this in the wild uh, to like XML tools or something like that, that particular link is defunct. But there's really nothing that's stopping a hacker that wants to utilize this from spinning up another one and then they can go ahead and start using that again in the wild to exploit people. But don't come out from hiding under your bed just yet because it gets worse. When this is exploited using a .doc or a .docx file, you aren't going to get infected until you actually open the file. And again, macros don't matter, but you do have to open the file. And some people have noticed that certain versions of Microsoft Office are not affected by this exploit even when they open up that malicious doc or docx file on their system. But if you happen to receive this malware in the RTF form, the rich text format file, then the exploit can be pulled off from the preview pane in Microsoft's File Explorer. Meaning, if you just look at this file in Explorer or right click on it to look at its properties, anything like that, your machine gets hacked as you can see in this video. This is like basically a Medusa exploit. You just have to look at it and your machine turns to stone. And the tippy top of this horrible exploit mountain is the fact that Microsoft themselves refuse to fix the vulnerability. They've been aware of this since at least April and their position is pretty much, eh, it's a feature, it's not a bug. But if you're really concerned about it, you could just disable MSDT using this command in regedit. Also, Microsoft is claiming that Microsoft Defender Antivirus can catch this if you turn on their cloud delivered protection and their automatic sample submission. So all you got to do is just open up your booty a little bit wider for the Microsoft botnet to enter it. And then maybe just maybe you'll get some protection from this. It's kind of like if you let mobsters eat at your restaurant for free and you know invite their buddies and smoke inside and gamble, then eh, they'll provide you some extra protection in case a non-mobster decides to rob your store. But personally, I would recommend just disabling that MSDT crap with regedit. I have never had to use it personally before, so that would be my go-to solution. But maybe in your work environment, MSDT is being used every single day and that's not an option. And if that's the case, then God help you. If anybody in your workplace downloads the malicious no-click RTF file exploit, like and comment to hack the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey and have a great day.